What's going on YouTube? I'm Nick the Tutor, and this channel is dedicated to improving your SAT, ACT, and AP scores. Now today, we're gonna to talk about ACT science and specifically how to get a 36. If you're looking to get a high score on the ACT science, this is the video for you. Yes, we're gonna talk a little bit about strategies, but I want to get directly into what it takes to receive a 36 on this section. Let's get straight into the first point. Point number one, you must get all of the questions correct. Now, is there a chance that the scaling is good, it's in your favor, maybe you only need to get, you know, 39 out of 40 correct? Possibly, right? But generally speaking, to get a 36 on science, you need to get all of them or nearly all of them correct. On other parts of the ACT, such as English or uh, math, you probably can get one or two wrong and still get a 36. But on science, that's gonna be very hard due to the harsh scaling of the ACT science section. ACT science is probably the most harshly scaled um, or equated, whatever you wanna call it, section of any standardized test when you talk about SAT and ACT. Point number two, you're probably going to want to know all of the necessary scientific facts. Now look, most of you are probably saying, Nick, the ACT science is not really about knowing scientific facts. And that's actually true, but there is usually two to three questions that test you on basic scientific knowledge. They might test you on pH. They might test you on parts of a cell. They might test you on something else related to a scientific concept that they think you should know. You don't wanna lose those one or two questions because you forgot the concept from chemistry or biology. So that's why it is very important that you do know all of the necessary scientific facts, even though it's not the most important thing for the section. Because look, we're trying to achieve perfection. Point number three, you must have very good time management. If you run out of time on the science, even on two or three questions, the 36 is then gone. There's gonna be no chance of getting a 36 if you don't finish the section, so you have to make sure you finish. Now, for those of you taking the ACT with regular time, you're going to have either six or seven passages, most likely six. If you have six passages, you're going to have five minutes and 50 seconds per passage. So what you need to do is become a track star. You need to time yourself on individual passages and make sure that you're getting them done in the right amount of time. Now, one other thing to understand about that, not all passages will be done in the same amount of time. Some of them you'll be able to do quickly and others are going to take more time. Data representation passages, if you check one of my other ACT strategy videos, that's a specific type of passage for the ACT science. Those are the ones that you can do quickly because they're mostly based on data tables, graphs, and so on and so forth. The passages that take more time are the competing viewpoints, conflicting viewpoints, whatever you wanna call it. Those are more text-based and therefore take more time. So what you need to do is have a strategy to manage your time effectively on all passages, but make sure you're sticking to that five minutes and 50 seconds per passage if there are six passages and five minutes if there are seven passages. All right, concept number four that's important for scoring a 36 on the science section. You must have a, an exceptional ability to read charts and graphs carefully. Part of the difficulty of science is that there's a lot of tedium, right? You have to look at individual charts and graphs and pick out one data point or sometimes even extrapolate from a line or a graph and figure something out. Now. You need that skill. To score 36 on the ACT science section, you have to work on that. You have to be very careful about where you're looking. Are you looking at the right chart? Are you looking at the right graph? Are you looking at the right axis? It's extremely important and that's a essential skill for scoring a 36 on ACT science. Number five, very important that you have incredible testing stamina. The ACT is a three plus hour test. The science section is always the last section. You have no choice in that. So therefore you need great testing stamina in order to have the attentiveness at the end of the test. The science is going to be the last 30 minutes plus of the exam where you're most tired and you're losing focus. So what you need to do is build up your testing stamina. What I would suggest you do take full timed practice exams, make sure that you can complete the full ACT with all of the attentiveness necessary. I've seen so many students over the years that can do a science section on its own and get a 35 or a 36, but then do it at the end of the entire ACT and get a 29. You do not wanna be that student. I don't blame that student, but they need to work on their stamina and that's how they will improve that. Those are my tips for getting a 36 on ACT Science. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you like this kind of content, it really helps me out and I'll see you guys soon, peace.